Very. Wait. Come on. Come on, I've got to get out because I've got to put some stuff on here. We're going camping. You can't come camping. You can't come camping. Come on. Let's go. Hop out of there. Hop out of there. Yeah. Come on. Get out of there. <laughs> Stop fighting. Hey. Come on. You can't stand there. I've got to put stuff on there. Get off. <laughs> Morning guys, we are uh, we are doing some camping. We're at uh, we're at Mont Albion Station, which is near Irvine Bank. And man, I tell you, last night the wind, very strong winds. It's still quite windy now. We arrived yesterday. Um, and after we set up and had dinner, we, had a, we went to bed. The wind really picked up and became very strong. Um, we had some issues with our tarp that goes over the top of our tent. It ripped and I had to do, many times I had to peg things back down at around midnight, one o'clock in the morning. It was a full moon could see very well um, but yeah just multiple times we had to fix things to keep the tent uh, keep the the, uh, the tarp that covers our tent from blowing away hopefully this wind doesn't keep going today because we want to do a bit of exploring this part of the country we're in here um, has a very very historic background in lead mining so I'm just going to for a bit of a walk here. There's many tracks around here. I just hope I don't get lost. But it's in the early morning. The sun's not long risen. But there's some rocks apparently up here from leftover from the old mine, which I want to have a look at. Uh, Mummy and the kids are still sleeping. Right, they'll be up soon and we'll, we'll get breakfast going and battle this wind by the look because it's still quite windy. Hopefully it doesn't pick up and be as bad as it was last night because that was atrocious. Interesting place. Already getting a blister. Oh, my foot. I haven't long been walking. 
and my foot's already sore. I tell you what, it's not a bad view. If the wind dies down, we'll get some drone footage. So this area, like I said, it's an old uh, lead mining town, uh, Mont Albion. It's about six kilometers from Irvine Bank in North Queensland. They used to mine lead. And these are left over from the old historic mine. But this is a pretty nice view. There's a lot of other stuff we'll talk to you about up while we're here. We're here for three days. So yeah, there's ruins. Um, there's a smelter as well, which we'll visit. There's some old ancient graves as well, where a lot of kids were, were killed, poisoned with, by lead. And um, we'll go and check that out too. And there's a dog grave too, apparently. So there's a few little things we'll check out. We might even check out Irvine Bank too eventually as well. It's a very old, historic town. So yeah, hope you enjoy our little series here while we're camping here at Mont Albion Station. We'll get back and see how the girls are doing if they're up for breakfast. Good morning, Mangalalabs! Oh, I miss you, I miss you. <laughs> we miss you and we're back! We're back somewhere of out of nowhere. Actually, we were uh, we are in Mont Albion, somewhere in Herberton camping. Yeah, it's school holiday, Mangalalab. So we are here camping with the family. So first time here in Mont Albion, it's perfect, perfect site, camping site, very close to the water, which is very um, necessity a necessity when you go camping it's just easy when you need water you just go down there it's a perfect area but the problem we had last night is just this non-stop strong wind tell them it has what's with the what's with what what's with the wind it broke our thing on the roof oh the top yeah so when we go camping mangalalas when we bring the big tent we don't put the fly on top. We put we put this top and this top is not designed for the wind. Look. So of course. See? Mummy's done a good job actually. So is Katie in making this. We've got <laughs> <laughs> So they've bought these little jars. Look at this. We got our coffee, we got our sugar, and we got our Milo. And this is just our cereal explain, here for explain breakfast. Explain, explain how, why it's so cool this one. Oh, it's just cool because, you know, it's just a little, it's a container. It just keeps everything. It clips, clips see? And cl keeps everything in clip. order. Yeah. See? See? Nothing it out. clip, it clip and clip. Manga loves. We've got our fruit, all, uh, our veggies and fruit here. And look at this, we've got a new light pole. So mm, it, the, the lighting is good in the tent here for, for cooking tonight when you're... Yeah, so that's connected to a big gas, that one, which is actually connected to the cooking. Actually, what we need to do is turn this. And on. this one to daddy, what's this? What's this? Oh, what's that's, this? That's the Father's Day gift we're, we're talking about <laughs> for our plates. And it's handy because if you want a plate, it, there it is. You just yeah, grab it and grab. you can use it. Cutlery here um, and all of our other stuff in here, a little pantry. Which has, what is it, what's in here? Roll it. So we got chips. Some snacks. Some bread and all this. Sneakers. About that. Like and then it. our washing table. Yeah. All the toiletries, toothbrushes and everything. And this place here, and guys. And the water. <laughs> Hopefully I later we can catch some um, red claw. There's lots of red claw in this, in this um, dam here. Yeah. And there's perch too, so we'll do a little bit we'll of fishing, fish, a little bit yeah. of fun later doing that. Maybe 
I was going to say, it's because it's going to be hot. It'd be nice to have some sort of shade because that's a good little fishing area there. Mm. Of course. So, right now, my we're going to go for a walk, but... Hello, Mungala Love, and today we are going to go camping. Already camping. Good morning, Mungala Loves, and today we are going to go for a walk. Me and Mummy were, like, planning if we can go and see that termite mound, that big one over there. You can't see it because it's covered up by these little trees. So, I noticed about that there can be snakes here because the lady that has the truck, that truck, riding down, 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 down here, has been saying that her dog was coming somewhere. Her dog died here because a snake first day it was actually really fun but this like camping has been so hard for me because there's a nest of ants there's like a nest over there somewhere and I got bitten on the leg me and my sister Katie she has been um, saying that that was my karma for being rude to her. But it actually wasn't because they stepped in a nest. This way over there is where the toilets are. This way is where the rocks are. So, see you when we're going for a walk. Bye. We need music. No, we Can don't. We please play the music. Please? We don't need music. This is music. The wind uh, is our music. Our neighbor music. here, Mangala, loves, actually is miles, miles away. You don't see. I mean, it's a little bit scary because you think that you're just camping by yourself, but actually there are lots of families camping. It's a huge, huge property. Like, like how many acres? Or I don't know. Hit or something like that. It's about nearly 50,000 acres, I, I think. That's 50, what I, I thought 50,000 acres? Which is nearly as big as um, Woodley Station. It's massive. So it's a huge area. So it looks like you're by yourself and it's a bit scary. But actually, you could hear them at night, like kids laughing. <laughs> no? Going crazy. Um, what's this church, you know, around or playing yeah. like that? Which just makes you feel like, makes you feel safe. Because at least you've got well, yeah, you're not isolated. You've got people, totally. yeah, you've yeah. got people with you. But the good thing is you don't see them. They're not um camp beside you. So yeah. Good. Do you like this place, B? How how is this place rate? Ten out of nine. I already told you. Oh, you didn't tell the peeps, so. Ten out of nine. Ten out of nine right. guys. This place. Ten out. Of, why is it only ten out of nine? Why is it not ten out of ten? Because this, this, this. Um, the wind. Yeah, nine, nine, yeah. Oh, the big ant, yeah, it's a massive termite mound, that one. Yeah. Huge termite mound out that way. That one in the Philippines, it's called No No Nang Punso. You don't go there because there are some um, little tiny people in there. Oh. They are bad spirits. Oh. oh you have to be careful. Scary. Go in the middle yeah. if I was you. Go in the middle if I was you. Uh, actually, they're actually, um... Uh, Good bike riding around here, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Should have... Um, we were done. from there, right? We haven't there. done a hike for a while. I don't know where that goes yeah, over there. Yeah, that's the one. Huh? Yeah. What? Because I know that we turned. Ah. Yeah, that's the one there. Mm. So I remember how to get back. There. Because I remember we turned and then we see the pole that's I don't know that one. See, I'm lost. I don't know how to get back to the house. Can you remember? Yeah. That's the one. We were from there because I remember we turned right and then I saw the toilet. I wasn't even sure if it was a toilet. Yeah. 
Oh, so that's why we so, get back. I don't know what's... Is there a road going up there? Yeah. Uh, maybe, that's why I don't, I don't understand her map. Maybe there's... Where this leads us to. Does this lead us to the cemetery? This road we're on here? I'm not sure. We'll just go for a drive. So that's the way back to the homestead. Yeah. Okay, so that's the T intersection. So maybe that's the way to Petford. Is it? And this is the way to Irvine Bay? No. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're lost, hey? This is why I'm saying. If you just come by yourself here, it's pretty scary. It would be. You'd feel it's like you're scary. stranded. scary, yeah. You're by yourself. Yeah. It's a huge area. Here's the toilets. <laughs> At least uh, seeing some people, it's kind of like... Yeah, reassuring uh, that you're not re yeah. totally alone. If something's happened, mm. you have someone to call to. Yeah. Huh? So here's the toilets. These are cool. I mean, I think I've done a good job with this. <laughs> Cheap and nasty, but it's good. It's functioning well. It looks pretty clean, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah. Compared to... Is it drinkable? If, I mean, if it wasn't drinkable, they'd put a sign up, I'm sure. But I think you have it's, asked them? I'd say so it's, it's why? Good, yeah. It's way better than Because they've no got one. a, I think it's a water tank, is it? Or is that a septic? It might be septic. No. Mummy? But they have a water tank. There's a water tank up the other end there, near yeah. where we were. So I don't know where that pump, where that comes all the way down here. Oh, okay. So you've got two toilets. Where's the shower? Look, 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 look. Please put the lid down. Look at the size of the Ooh. snake. That's why you don't. Good. The snakes again. Okay. And I'll like, do like the other one said, look, there's a frog there. The frog goes into the toilet, and then the snake goes in to get the frog. So put the lid down. No, dear.